I play Ray Ray McGrath Bay, who's a hardworking young man who uh, steps up to be in, in a man in the movie. Um, he takes care of his little brother by hiding him around the campus and puts everything on the line while doing so. Yeah, I play Faye McElrath Bay, the younger brother of Ray McElrath Bay. And I'm just going through a lot during this time period. And, and my mom's in rehab and my dad left a little bit after I was born. So because there's no one to take care of me, I could be placed in foster care. So my brother takes care of me. I play Casey Stone, an aspiring sports reporter who meets Ray and instantly becomes uh, attracted to him and wants to help him and him and his brother in their situation. Yeah, I play Daniel Morelli, uh, Ray's roommate, teammate, and best friend, the first person that Ray meets at Clemson, and also the first person that he confides in about a situation with his little brother. I think I'm similar to Casey in the fact that she's very empathetic when she hears Ray's story. She instantly wants to help him. And I'm very much so like that. I also have a sister who's 12 and another sister who's 13. And so I really understood that sacrifice. I would do anything for them. And so when I'm hearing Ray's story, I can really empathize with that. In a way that I'm different from Casey is that she is a diehard sports fan and I don't know anything about sports. So I really had to learn a lot about the vernacular and a lot about the game of football. I feel like I'm similar to Ray in terms of work ethic. I feel like Ray um, and I, we got along. We, it's kind of an unspoken language when it came to hard work. You know, we didn't have to, he didn't have to tell me much. He just texted me the time and I was there. Uh, I feel like we're different uh, in small ways. You know, maybe I might clock out five minutes before him, but he pushes himself that extra mile when he's tired. And I just haven't figured that part out yet. So <laughs> that's the only way I would say I'm different. <laughs> um, I'm similar to Faymar because we both love football. Also, we have a strong relationship with our brother. I have no brother, but my dad is almost like a brother to me. And he's, I've always been with him all the time. So just those things. And uh, we're different, just like Jay said, in very small ways, just that I don't have the same situation as him and I don't, I don't go through what he goes through. Yeah, I'm similar to Daniel in the sense that he's this Italian kid who's all about family and I am Italian and all about family. And uh, yeah, he, he embraces Ray like his, like his own brother and I'm an only child. So I, I, I try to, uh, carry that energy when I meet new people into my life about just kind of embracing them as, as a brother. And I think Jay and I kind of had that in real life before we even started filming. So he may be able to attest to that. And uh, we're different, like everyone said, in the small ways, um, Daniel has five older brothers. I'm an only child. I do have a lot of cousins, but I'm an only child. So. Um, it was amazing. Like, he's like an uncle to me. Like, I talk to him all the time. My dad talks to him all the time. It, it, he's just really cool. So, yeah. And Working with Reggie Hudlin was nothing short of amazing. Reggie is awesome. He made the environment comfortable for all of us. You know, this is a guy who's, who's playing music between setups just to keep you, your energy up after a long 12-hour day. And that's you need that, you know? So R R Reggie, thank you so much. It was such a great experience working with Reggie. I actually knew him before the film. And so going into it, I felt super comfortable with him. And yeah, he's super fun playing music. And I feel like also could really tap into the heart of the film and giving us great direction on how we should be um, navigating our characters. Yeah, it was a real honor working with Reggie. Uh, obviously, given his past projects and all the amazing work he has put out and the fact that he is from East St. Louis and I am from St. Louis, we discovered that the first time we talked. And so that immediately kind of created this common ground and this comfortability going into the project. So for me, that was huge. What I feel like will most appeal to audiences is the fun. This movie is so much fun. 
I feel like everyone had fun shooting it. TJ is so much fun. Corinne is so much fun. Hunter, everyone is so much fun. Um, the football looks amazing. So I really feel like people are going to gravitate towards that. And of course, the heartfelt message is what we need right now. So yeah, make sure you tune in. <laughs> yeah, I think people are going to gravitate. Gravi- I think people are going to gravitate most towards the the football sequences. I mean, they look so good, and, and, and the game scenes are real with the crowd. Um, we had an amazing uh, football coordinator. It was it, it was surreal to be a part of. And I think when people watch that, it's it's what everyone wants from a football movie. But at the same time. As Jay said, it's going to be about family. So I think there's going to be multiple things that people gravitate towards. But my main two would be the football and the family aspect. Yeah, what I think people are going to gravitate towards in this film is the heartwarming aspect of it all. Um, It's been a really tough year. And I think we all need a movie like this that is about family and love and connection. And I think, yes, you're going to have a tissue. You're going to need a tissue box or two to get through it, but in a good way, in a way that's gonna make you feel happy and wanna hug your loved ones a little bit tighter. Well, I think people are gonna gravitate to brotherhood and football at the same time because the brotherhood shows a lot and football is a main part of it too. And just really about family. Um, I remember most that like everyone made it like really amazing for me. Like, cause this is my first ever movie and just everyone made me feel comfortable. And I was just so happy on set. I just made a whole bunch of brothers and a sister and it was just amazing. Yeah, what I remember most and I think what I'll carry with me is, is kind of a, a unique one. I, I always, think back on those van rides in the morning to work with all of us. We, we, we would all get in there. We'd be just waking up and we'd all get in the zone together and we'd be listening to our music. And, 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 and we all knew we were going to make this incredible thing. And for some reason, those rides to set every day from the hotel just always stuck with me. Yeah. What I think I'm going to remember most about making this film is the fact that we got to actually film at Clemson. We only were there for maybe a week or two, but it was so special to see all these landmark uh, places that really defined Ray's story. And then also filming at an actual football game and watching these boys run down a hill and um, with 80,000 people cheering for them. And I just know how surreal that was for me and I'm sure for the boys. Yeah, what I think I'll remember and take with me is uh, that family aspect, being with that crew, shooting safety was awesome during the day. But what the what it was reflecting into my personal life was you have to treat everyone like family, you know. And what Hunter spoke on, like those van rides, those drivers became my family. Those cameramen became my family. This cast became my family. So just remembering to to not be the star, but make everyone a star around you is what I think I'll carry with you. Yeah.